go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other Hey everyone, welcome to So Very Veronica. I am Veronica and I am so happy you are here. Today is my part one of Clean and Decorate with me for Christmas and I could not be more excited. I have so much to do in this room, but I have my Netflix fireplace going in the background. I'm gonna light a candle and we are gonna go ahead and get started. This video is even more special because it is in collaboration with some amazing women here on YouTube and they will be sharing a ton of holiday home decor motivation for you as well. So when you're done here, make sure you check them out. I will have the playlist linked down below in the description box. So before I get started, I'm just going to pick up the remainder of the baby's toys and then get out my Christmas decor. God knows that I've been longing for you. I just want to hold you close. You know the stars. So, before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look around my living space. Here are three shelves that I love to decorate for the different seasons. No matter what, I always have something up there. So, they are nice and bare because to make sure that I had a nice and clean slate for today. And I did already go ahead and take off my pillow covers. I am waiting for an order from Amazon that is coming in tomorrow, so I will be putting on new pillow covers as soon as those arrive. Over here I do have this mirror, which I want to put a wreath on, but I haven't found one yet. Um, and I do have these two little galvanized flower pots, which we will be putting some Christmas florals in. <laughs> this corner over here is basically the baby's play area. The TP will be going upstairs because that is where the Christmas tree goes and I have to rearrange some stuff in her room. So for today it'll stay but everything will kind of be shifting and then she doesn't really use her jumper anymore so that's going to be going into storage as well. And the thing I'm the most excited to decorate I think is this mantle. We don't actually have a fireplace so my husband hung this one up for me and I just I love the size of it. I don't love the color but we do plan on doing some built-ins on this wall and possibly a fake fireplace. So I'm just patiently waiting and I decorate with what I have for now. So, and then this chest down here just holds a bunch of the baby's toys just to keep them put away and neat when she's not playing with them. So that is what we're working with. I'm gonna start off by decorating my three shelves and I really wanted to showcase this believe sign that I picked up at Kirkland. I'm going to go ahead and flank it with a lantern here in a second and move those candlesticks down to the second shelf. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up. When I'm decorating, I like to make sure that I have a little bit of each color on every stand or every shelf. So the candlesticks, the sign, and the books are all white, and I'm going to add pops of red on each, and also incorporate some gold, which will tie in with the rest of the room. to my little mantle here. I was probably the most excited about decorating this space because of my new flocked garland that I grabbed at Walmart. I couldn't believe how great of a price it was. It is unlit so I did decide to go ahead and add some twinkle lights to it to just give it a little bit more of that Christmas magic. As with all greenery, garlands need to be fluffed in order to be at their most beautiful. 
So I spent quite a bit of time fluffing this garland to make sure it was as full and voluminous as it possibly could be. I really love the look of the layered garland so I did grab a farmhouse bead garland and decide to tie that in with my flocked garland as well and I just love how it turned out. This beautiful bell garland I grabbed at Walmart. It was super inexpensive and I think it just added the perfect amount of texture and contrast to this garland space. Alright, and here is the aftermath of using the flocked wreath, which this is the first time I've ever used one, so I knew it was going to be messy. I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up because, remembering, this is the baby's play area. I need to make sure I keep it clean so she doesn't eat any of it because that's the stage we're at, right? Like, for some reason, one-year-olds put everything in their mouth. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab my vacuum and get this cleaned up. I just adore the blankets that I picked up this year at Home Goods, so I am moving my blanket ladder in here so that I can put them out on display. I did put it in the corner over here to try and keep the baby from pulling it down and tucked it away as best as I could so that it didn't fall on top of her. Haven't seen you in so long, but we text every day. I always love decorating with books, so I grabbed this beautiful copy of A Christmas Carol a few years ago at Barnes & Noble, and I always pull it out for the Christmas season, and I just think it is the perfect touch. I also wanted to make sure that everything that the baby was able to reach was something that she was able to play with, so I added this little canister of faux snowballs that I grabbed at the Target dollar spot last year, as well as a stuffed Snoopy for her to play with when she goes to reach for it. I have always loved the look of farmhouse basket decor, especially around Christmas time, so I was so excited to put one together this year. I grabbed some birch logs at Hobby Lobby and my husband and I both cut them down to size so that I had multiple pieces. And using a Christmas blanket, a Santa figurine, as well as those logs, it just came out absolutely perfect. And I finished it off with that beautiful pillow I grabbed at the Target dollar spot. was the night before Christmas. 
Christmas. I was closing down for business. Since I am teaching from home, I do work in this room as well, so I am going to decorate my desk here with just a little bit of Christmas magic by using this tiered stand. And all I did was add a couple of fake trees that I grabbed at the Target dollar spot, including the yarn and glass options, a little sign, and a little white truck ornament that I grabbed at Walmart. And maybe so did you. thing I did in this space was go ahead and hang up some curtain lights over the large window and put a garland above it just to give it some more Christmas flair. It's gonna be you and me decorating the tree from this Christmas song. Once I was done decorating for the day, I did a really good vacuum and then I followed it up with a steam mop. And a little trick that I learned from some fellow YouTubers was to actually use a few drops of peppermint essential oil when you're steam mopping to make your home smell so good when you're done. day I did go ahead and decorate this chalkboard my husband hung it up for me the evening prior so that I could have it ready to go for the Christmas season unfortunately I'm not sure if it's the texture of the chalkboard or the chalk I'm using it is extremely difficult to see so I did go over it with another color but alas it is still very faint and I'm not really sure what else to do to make it stand out further Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach with our free Another small touch I wanted to add were these adorable farmhouse houses that I grabbed at both Hobby Lobby and Target and I just love the warm glow they bring to the bottom of the mantle I still have a couple of things that I need to do in here, but I want to show you where I'm at so far. Over here I've added Spray Ann's little Minnie and Mickey for the Christmas season so she can play with them. And I have had to do a lot of baby proofing because I want to make sure that everything is safe for her to either grab or play with and she can't possibly get hurt. So down here I have her little snowballs and a Snoopy doll that she can play with. 
And in my little wheeled basket here, I've got some Christmas pillows and a blanket draped over the side. For my mantle, I got this flocked wreath at Walmart and I just added some twinkle lights to it that I grabbed from Amazon. I also added the farmhouse bead garland and these beautiful golden bells. I grabbed those at Walmart as well. And down here I have my little white houses. Those are a collection from both Hobby Lobby and Target. And to finish off my mantle, I added some bronzy gold candlesticks, which I just thought was the perfect touch to give it a little bit more height and texture. Above my TV, I have the He Knows If You've Been Bad or Good sign. I grabbed that one at Hobby Lobby. I just thought it was so cute. And I did have my husband go ahead and hang my chalkboard here last night, and I just love how it turned out. I tried to draw a little scene of trees on it, like a forest. For some reason, it's not really as dark as I was hoping that it would be. I'm not sure if it's because it's like that plasticky material for the chalkboard instead of like a wooden one with paint on it, but for now it'll work. And then I've got my blanket ladder, and over here I did go ahead and put this book and Santa inside our little crate here, just again to baby proof a little bit further. And we have our North Pole communicator, which has become her new favorite toy. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. And that brings us to the end of part one of my Christmas clean and decorate series. I am so happy with how things are turning out and I can't wait to show you how the rest of my home will be decorated for the Christmas season. If you like this content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and consider turning on the notifications so you don't miss one of my future videos. When you're done here, make sure you check out that playlist so that you can be super inspired by all these wonderful women here on YouTube. I will see you all in a couple days in a brand new video. Bye.